One of the things you'll notice about dogs is they don't speak English. Dogs understand what you mean by the tone of your voice as much as by what you say to them. Okay, puppy, sit. Always when you give commands, use your normal voice and be firm. Bad dog. Get back in the dog house. If you want to correct your dog, use a quick, low voice. Which one of you guys would like to help me demonstrate the right way to pick up a pet rabbit? First, grab a hold of the skin on the back of your rabbit's neck, and then put your other hand underneath him to support his weight. And never, never pick up your rabbit by the ears. Oh, that could hurt him. In the last weeks before giving birth, your cat will seek a quiet, dimly lit spot for having her kittens. Unless you prepare a box or area ahead of time, she may find her own. Like uh, in your closet, on a pile of laundry, or your uh, brand new Angora sweater. If she balks, don't force her. A little coaxing should do it. Back to Heathcliff and me, Ref Raff. Hey kids, here's an important safety tip to remember. Some animals may look friendly. Nice doggy. But you can't always tell by the way they look. Oops. <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, lots of dogs and cats are real nice. <laughs> Dog kisses. The important thing to remember is get to know the animal slowly and cautiously. Bobby, you've got to train the puppy not to jump on people. It can scare them. Oh, Dad, he's little. Well, that's why you should train him now, before he's big. I see what you mean, Dad. Don't leave me. I need a minute to figure this out. We're back. Are you ready? Spike here is helping me demonstrate an important safety tip for your pets. Never, never lock your cat or dog in a closed car. On a hot day, the temperature can go way over 100 degrees. Gee. Spike and I are just kidding around, but remember, this is a serious matter. That's right, kids. Heathcliff and I are making believe what could happen, but it's really not a laughing matter. <laughs> Hi, folks. Heathcliff with another safety tip for pets. Here you see a common houseplant. Uh, you probably already know that cats love to nibble on houseplants. But first, check with your vet to find out what plants are safe to have around your cat. Most cats just love regular grass to nibble on. But personally, I love the... Uh, mm, fish. Here's some ways to help you find your lost pet. First, check inside closets and under the bed. Let your neighbors know your pet's missing. Post a note in your veterinarian's office and check with the local dog pound. And put out a dish of your pet's favorite food. A good dinner might lure him back. Did you ever notice people and their dogs seem to look alike? A dog's personality can range from responsive, nervous, and shy, to calm and snobbish. <laughs> And of course, stubborn. <laughs> but seriously, make sure you pick a dog who has the same personality as you. Wait right there. I gotta take a break from all this. I've been waiting for you. Let's go. I wouldn't eat that candy if I was you. 
human candy, cakes, and cookies are no good for pets. Human candy, cake, and cookies will do that to a pet. Here's a treat that's just right for a dog. I like this better than candy anyway. Don't go away. I may need your help. Back to Heathcliff and me, Riff Raff. It's not a good idea for any animal to be overweight, but it's especially bad for an older pet. If your pet is getting on in years, the smart thing to do is check with your vet about diets for older animals. Food! You see, when a pet gets older, it gets harder and harder for them to carry all that extra weight. You're the one to talk, Chubby. Well, maybe I'll ask the vet about a diet for me, too. Hey, Jim, Mary, wait till you see my new dog. I don't understand why she's afraid. If you've got very young friends, introduce them to your dog by keeping the dog on a leash in the beginning so they know you've got him under control. Here's your food, Barkley. You still got water? Ernie, don't forget to wash his bowl. It's fine, Mom. Gotta get to practice. Mom, this plate is all dirty. Didn't have time to clean it. I had an important meeting to attend. I'm sorry, Barkley. I guess that's how your food looks when I don't clean it. Don't leave me. I need a minute to figure this out. We're back. Are you ready? Now, I probably dislike dogs more than anyone you know, but even I wouldn't leave a dog out unprotected in weather like this. I'll just leave him out there until he understands how his dog must have felt in this weather. It worked! He realizes the pets need to be protected from bad weather, too. If your pet has to stay outside in bad weather, make sure you have some kind of shelter for him. He'll be happier and healthier if you do. Wait right there. I gotta take a break from all this. I've been waiting for you. Let's go. Putting the cat out at night isn't always a great idea. Yipes! In fact, sometimes it's a rotten idea. Oh, this is ridiculous. Let me in! Must have been the wind. He's clear. Okay, okay, you made your point. Remember, your cat's only human. Todd, Donnie, you forgot to let Herman inside. He could freeze. I'll be back soon. Hey, Mom, don't forget to... <gasps> hey, open, open the, the door! door. <clears throat> Thanks, Herman. Glad you didn't forget us like we forgot you. Some tropical fish are happy in small bowls, but goldfish need a lot of space. See what I mean? A large tank is better. But if you want more than one goldfish, get the largest tank you can afford. Your goldfish will be much happier. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> now back to Heathcliff. <laughs> hey, kids, don't forget an important safety and courtesy tip about walking your dog. Uh, heel, you heels! Always walk your dog on a leash for his or hers safety. Much! This also keeps your dog from running on other people's property. <laughs> okay, fellas, let's go home. Heel! Toy, toy. 
No, a pet is not a toy. Sometimes children, especially small children, think pets are toys and play with them too roughly. Sometimes children will pull a pet's ears. Or they'll pull a pet's tail. So remember, don't play too roughly with your pet. You can not only hurt it, but you may make it angry. If you have a cat and keep him indoors, you have to duplicate the things he would get if he was outdoors. It, like a safe, secure place for your cat to hide. Like uh, a partially open closet door. Here your cat can hide in a corner. A window ledge is another great pleasure for an indoor cat. By observing life outside, your cat will feel more involved with the outside world. <laughs> At the moment, I'm pretending to be an indoor cat. <laughs> Lucky for him. <laughs> Waiter, what's the house specialty? For rabbits, we have rabbit feed and fresh water. You're kidding. What about lettuce and carrots? You may not know this, but fresh greens can actually make a pet rabbit sick. That settles it. We'll have the rabbit feed and fresh water. Good choice. Yeah. 